stage is yours. Thanks for co coming. Thanks. Um, so I was introduced. Uh, my position is agency segment manager for Gameos. And I would have a request to you first because I usually speak very fast. So if you see that I speak very fast, just please raise your hand. So I will know that I'm speaking too fast and I will try to slow down. Although it's very dark here, so I'm not sure if I will recognize hands here. But please try, OK? Uh, I heard the beginning of the presentation translated, the uh, previous presentation. And I was very happy because it was about growing uh, digital. And I would like to speak also about how to grow digital from measurement point of view. So it's a different point of view, but I would like to give some uh, new ideas. Actually, this is uh, still an initiation. This is a new development, but I would like to introduce you today. And uh, I would like to speak about a new measurement trend, which is getting more and more important. Uh, and, um, and let's jump in. First, before I speak about the, the solution, let me speak about the problem, how we see it. Um, actually, we see that the uh, internet in the, let me call, CE region, including Turkey at the moment, is growing very fast. It's going, growing faster than Western Europe. And uh, I would say that it's quite mature already. In all the markets, uh, excluding the Western Europe, it's reached 40% uh, penetration, or 50% in most of the markets. And also, we have a high share of, online, of all ad spendings by online advertising. And I would say it's quite mature. So it's not growing that fast from na natural growth. So just because new users are joining the internet, it's not growing. And, uh, but it's growing because of formats like video, and we would like to show you something uh, which is also can grow digital advertising. So this is one problem. The second problem is that it's getting more and more crowded. Uh, I am deeply in the Hungarian market, so I can say you that uh, Hungarian market is growing uh, in digital advertising, but most of the growth is taken by international players, by YouTube, by Facebook. So actually, the growth is not really on, in the hands of local publishers. And um, we were thinking how to, how to change this and how to find new arguments, how to find new channels to bring new budgets to the online advertising. And actually, we were looking for channels and we tried to find something big, something what is something what can be attracted and was not attracted that much in the past. Um, and actually we found TV, because it's the biggest in Turkey as well. It's the biggest in all the markets, except a few. And um, actually this is typical branding channel, yes? Branding advertising. And digital advertising, classical online advertising, is not about branding, not about building image, but mainly about performance, clicks, actions, which can be easily measured by, by, by CTR, by conversion rate. But uh, it's not according to brand advertising, where we want to have high awareness, where we have long-term goals, where we want... It's difficult to measure. It's more sophisticated measurement is needed. So actually, let me just give you an example what I see how we are supporting, what kind of metrics are available for uh, digital branding. We have cookies, yes? Uh, cookies in most of the ad servers. I say there are few exceptions. But most of the ad servers are delivering information about cookies. Um, actually, cookies is overestimating the reach of the advertising campaign. I made some research. Unfortunately, I don't have data from Turkey, but in uh, 13 markets, I made the research that average, on average, three cookies represent one real user. This means that we are overestimating the reach. And imagine if we overestimate the reach with twice, how underestimate with the frequency? which is also important metric for brand advertising. So we need a good metric for reach. We need to measure the reach correctly. Also, we need to have new metric, uh, which, is, which, which advertisers who invest in image get used to in TV channels. So we need online reach for target audience and online frequency. And actually, this is, this is what I would like to present you today. What kind of measurement we can provide you um, upon IAB Turkey approval, uh, what kind of measurement I can provide you, and why it's Gameus. Gameus is a proper partner for this kind of research from many point of view. First of all, this is online audience standard in all of over 30 markets, including Turkey, first of all, including Denmark, Poland, Hungary, Czech, Portugal, many other countries. Also, as we are doing online audience website measurement in Turkey, it's easier to get the same data from the same company for campaigns. 
because the data will be coherent. I, I love to see that advertisers always like so enthusiastic that they see some reach curve in the beginning of the campaign, before the campaign, and they see the same reach curve after the campaign. So they are, they are pleased. And this is what can be provided because the data is coherent in, two, in the two sites. Um, how, how can it be done? What is the little methodology behind this? First of all, we are tracking all the single impressions on digital campaigns. Uh, we identify those cookies who are seeing the advertising campaign and we match it with audience measurement panel and the sample is constructed by people who is a part of our panel and also who is watching the campaign, who is interacting with the campaign. So in the end, we can give information about users who were exposed to the advertising campaign and also internet, uh, internet users who make some interactions, engage with the advertisement, uh, generate a click, make a conversion. So we can tell you how many and who were those guys who made some impression, if they were valuable or not. Because very often we see some, buy some run on network, run on site, uh, we buy some uh, ad exchange and we don't know who we actually reach, how it's supporting the branding goals. Uh, I, I found it uh, with, uh, when discussing with my friend uh, from my, my client, Procter & Gamble, he explained that he does not know the impact of the advertising campaign on his target audience, it's a big problem for this. So him, and this is actually a solution. I would like to bring you a case study uh, the, from the same company, Procter & Gamble. I must tell you that it's, uh, I'm sensitive about this because it is somehow my, my, also my child. Uh, we initiated this campaign uh, some time ago and it was very special because we did not only measure the campaign reach uh, in target audience, specific target audience, but we also, like not we, but the publisher sold the media based on target group information. Uh, actually, the goal was to buy impressions in target audience 16 to 24. Uh, the goal was to buy 400,000 impressions like this. And actually, we were just following in the online interface, uh, frequently updated data, how the reach is built, how the impressions are built, and we just stopped the campaign when this, this reached the goal. So in the end, we a bit overperformed. We reached 423,000 impressions from the target audience. So actually the, the advertiser was happy because he got the same data, what he understood from other media. He got reach, we reached 26% of his target audience. He got data about frequency uh, from his target audience, about real people, not, not cookies and not about in general population. So he was, he was very happy about that. Um, I think I will not show you these slides because uh, I have some live demo. So I ask technical colleagues to change to my computer. How the data is presented, just short live demo. Oh, maybe I need to, it will be fine now. <laughs> Sorry for headache. <laughs> so this is how the data is presented. Um, actually. Here it's an online interface where you can see frequently updated data and you can see the reach of real users, not cookies, in your target audience. So you can see that this campaign reached 3,600,000 female users uh, which who were 53% of the audience reached by the advertising campaign. You can see other, other characteristics here but also you can see here your own target audience. For example, young woman was defined by, by the client. And also we can, oh, this was, okay. Okay, so you can also define your new target audience. For example, I could define man from Istanbul. I could uh, define it like uh, male, people from cities bigger than 500, sorry, maybe 10 million inhabitants in Turkey. And I could also, it depends on the market, so this can be customized. Um, and also we have an application which you, I'm 100% most of you know already, this is Gameos Explorer, where you can analyze websites, but also you can analyze the profile of advertising campaigns. So here I can see that I can select the target audience, just like for websites. I am, for example, interested in, let's say, male, 
age 1524, and I can see the data for this specific target audience. So I can see that, actually you should see the row and the column at the same time. So it, it says that I reached 1.4 million real users who made an impressions in the target audience. They generated 27 million impressions, and actually 14% of the reached audience was from the target audience. I can, I can really make deeper check placements. I can check placements. What is more important, I can check also clicks, successful clicks, so users who are getting to the landing page, actions. Who are those guys? It's visible that although 14, 11% of the audience is from the target audience, but only 8% of the users who make conversions are from the target audience. So this is not the target audience for this campaign, probably. But you can really find out who is interested in your offer. Um, and you can find out what kind of creatives your target audience is interested in. So you can see that, for example, CTR for bar, banner, or billboard creative is high for your target audience, or they are more interested in some sponsorship, or they are more interested in some rich media solution. So you can really optimize your creatives. You can analyze duplication between sites. So you can optimize your frequency and, and reach. Uh, for example, I can select two websites, Adflare and Evert, and I can say I would like to have some uh, duplication analysis. And I can see that actually there were 278,000 real users from the target audience who saw that my advertisement on both websites. I can also change to percentage view. So, we can change back. So actually, this is, this is a lot of possibilities how it can be measured. Uh, a lot of ready data are available at the moment. What are the benefits for advertisers, for publishers, for internet users, if, you are, if we speak about this kind of new measurement? I would say that a lot of benefits they have. First of all, Advertisers are optimizing their target audience, their campaigns for their target audience. So there will be a bigger impact on the target audience. There will be a bigger impact on the image, on the awareness. And also because of the uh, data from the website measurement and campaign measurement is the same provider, it's like coherent and there is more accurate post buy data. Uh, the second thing is the publisher, why it's good for him. I must be honest to you and this is, the truth is that in this first campaign, what I showed you, the publisher was not that happy because he actually got less money than if he would just sold bulk impressions, clicks. But what he said that actually he got to know a lot about his target, about his website. And he can do better optimize now his advertising campaigns. And actually he's bringing new advertisers to his websites. He never expected they, they will spend money on his website. So he actually gets a better image in the advertiser's view, and also he actually gets bigger money in the end because he is uh, selling impressions for more, and he can better target his campaigns. What is the good for the user? The user is happy because he is seeing less advertisement, and he is seeing more relevant advertisements. So he is also, she is also happy. So, just to finish this, this uh, presentation, I would, I would propose to come back a bit about this branding advertising. I think that if we want to motivate advertisers to bring uh, new budgets to the digital and even more grow with digital, uh, then we need to prov uh, provide them metrics which help them to understand the impact of their target audience. We should provide them data which is similar to TV advertising. We should not not make them lost in translation. And uh, if you are interested in, in uh, testing this data, then upon IAB Turkey approval, then we can provide you with such a test. Uh, and that was what I wanted to share with you, so thank you. <laughs>